presented by Karan Torani. Uh, Karan, good afternoon and I am guessing that you did uh, manage to watch Kalki over the weekend as well. Yes, uh, indeed, it's an excellent movie. So yes, uh, Hindi version is also kind of done well for Kalki. Absolutely. So let's start with that, right? Because PVR Inox surely buzzing in trade. That's where I went and watched the movie. But you know, what does it mean? And how is the lineup looking like for other movies uh, post Kalki as well? Do we have that traction to continue for PVR Inox? So, you know, firstly, I'll just start off with the Kalki and the potential impact it's going to have in terms of the near term performance. Uh, you know, when Kalki started off, the Hindi advances were very poor. There was no, uh, not much of a buzz as such. Uh, the opening day collections, if you see, you know, Hindi version was not more than about 12 to 15 percent. But I you know about yesterday, if you look at the numbers, uh, more than 45 to 50 percent of the collection is from the Hindi circuit. So, of course, the Hindi circuit has picked up because of word of mouth. Uh, and secondly, also because Amitabh Bachchan, you know, having a significant role there. So one one did not know that, you know, Amitabh Bachchan has got a large role there. One thought it's a Prabhas lead, but in the second half, I think Amitabh Bachchan has a significant role to play. So I think the numbers have you know, kind of picked up uh, basis that as well. So I think if the momentum such a, uh, you know, continues from here on, on an average, I think in terms of overall lifetime collections, uh, the numbers could, uh, you know, breach to about 600, 600 650 crores uh, on a lifetime gross numbers domestic. And around 30, 35%, uh, you know, would come from the Hindi circuit, which would be a big advantage for PVI and Knox because uh, they have close to 45% market share in the circuit. And in the South uh, circuit, uh, the market share is yet to be smaller. So I think it's going to add some respite uh, to both Q1 and Q2, partially in terms of potential impact. Uh, uh, so that's the you know potential impact on Kalki. Uh, the second thing is on the content pipeline. So I think you know Q2 so far uh, we are not seeing any green shoots as such in terms of very sharp recovery. Of course, it started off on a high because of Kalki. But if you look at the Hindi content pipeline, you know, apart from 3, 2 and a couple of more films, uh, you know, by uh, Akshay Kumar and one by Ajay Devgan. Uh, we're not seeing too much of traction. So I think, uh, you know, Q2, you will continue to see, uh, you know, reporting weak numbers as far as Hindi box office is concerned. Uh, we'll see a decline because of two reasons. One is the last year's base was very high uh, because we had Jawan, we had Oh My God 2, we, we had Rocky Rani, Prem Kani, we had the big Gadar, which broke all records. And the second, of course, in the number of last ticket films in this quarter uh, are not many as far as Hindi is concerned. So Hindi will see a decline in Q2. But again, Q3 is going to be phenomenally strong. Uh, we have got uh, Bhul Bulaya 3, we have got Pushpa 2, we have got Welcome, we have got Singham, all large franchise films across multiple genres. So that quarter, you know, particularly could see around 35-40% growth on a YY basis. Okay, well, sticking to Q2, uh, given the fact that the cricket is now over, do you expect Q, uh, the second week also to be equally better for Kalki? Yes, uh, potentially it's not, it cannot be equally better because I think the numbers, you know, the first weekend numbers are always very strong. And from a cricket standpoint, I think the impact was uh, only on Saturday night shows, which could be the last two shows of the day. Uh, so numbers will not accelerate from here on. Uh, I think they have largely peaked out as far as daily collections are concerned. Uh, but yes, you know, on a lifetime basis, you can say that we are still at about 50 to 60 percent of the numbers, and another 40 percent incremental numbers could be added over the next two to three weeks. We did speak about the Bollywood lineup, but also the Hollywood lineup looks pretty much strong, at least for Q2, I believe. There's Deadpool uh, and Wolverine, there's Transformers, there's Wolves. Uh, how does that, uh, how much are you expecting uh, the Hollywood lineup to contribute to PVR Inox? So, in terms of Hollywood, again, uh, you know, Hollywood doing well is also a very good thing for PVR Inox because they have, again, about 40 to 45% market share in the Hollywood genre as well. And uh, I think Hollywood, uh, it, it all starts from Deadpool. And I think this momentum will go on until March, April. And uh, for PVR Inox as a company, uh, you know, Hollywood contribution in terms of genre wise is about 18 to 20% average, uh, which has come down to almost about 10, 12% because of the writer association strike. So I think Hollywood contribution will see a significant rise. Uh, Hollywood contribution can even move towards 20, 25% over the next three to four months. So I think you'll have ample amount of content, ample variety of content across multiple genres. And, uh, you know, getting shows for this this number of content is going to be a challenge because many films will also come as a clash, uh, you know, as you're going to see in terms of festive season going ahead, Christmas, Diwali, everything put together. So, uh, as I say, you know, post-September is when all the action begins. And uh, I think this momentum could continue easily until Feb-March. 
Karan, continue until Feb, March. But uh, thank you so much, Karan, for joining in with us this afternoon for a quick take on what we should be expecting, uh, you know, going forward at least for PVR Inox as well. Kalki surely is uh, managing to do well in terms of the numbers there. Uh,